Okay, well, this is just going to be a very quick overview of some of the minerals that are uh, intended to be identified in the BC Geolo uh, Geology 12 curriculum. I will go through the key identifying characteristics and we'll take a look and see some of these different minerals. These are some of the samples we've got here. So that's in uh, order, alphabetically, according to the uh, data booklet that's available for the BC Provincial Exam. Anyway, so let's go back to the start. Alrighty, amphibole. Amphibole is pitch black and it has two cleavages at 56 degrees. Apatite. Apatite is green, very glossy often has good crystal form and looks like green candy. Arsenopyrite, that's not on the BC curriculum, however it's silver and brassy. Asbestos, asbestos looks like cloth. Um, it's green. Oh, what have we got here? Azurite, azurite is bright blue, azure blue. Barite, barite is white, sometimes pink, very, very, very dense very heavy. Um, bauxite. Again, bauxite's not on the BC uh, curriculum. However, bauxite is the ore of aluminum and it kind of looks pockmarked and sort of diseased looking. I don't know if you can focus on that or not. Anyways, um, bornite. Bornite is uh, peacock brassy or iridescent brassy. It has a whole bunch of different colors in it. Um, in reality, a lot of times, when it's peacock colored like this, a lot of times that's chalcopyrite that's been oxidized. However, um, this is also bornite, and it's more of a deep purple. However, this is probably bornite as well. Calcite. Calcite has rhombohedral cleavage. Hopefully you can see that. It's kind of like a tilted over box, I suppose. It would fizz with acid. Chalcopyrite. Chalcopyrite is yellow brassy. Chlorite. Chlorite is very, very, very soft. It will not scratch your fingernail. It's dark green, flaky, very soft. Chromite. Chromite is chromium oxide. Um, it looks like black sugar. Very fine green, sparkly. Cinnabar. Cinnabar sort of looks like veins of red stuff, it's kind of like blood I suppose. Anyways, that's mercury oxide. Native copper. Native copper, um, this piece is actually a natural piece from Crete. This one is probably from a copper smelter. Anyways, it looks like copper metal. It is copper metal. Plagioclase feldspar. Plagioclase feldspar comes in a whole bunch of different colors usually white to dark gray or blue. This particular one is blue. I don't know if you can see the colors there. Sometimes it has striations. It's a feldspar. K-spar, potassium feldspar. Uh, K-spar is pink to orange. It looks like horse meat. I don't know if you can see that. Fluorite. Fluorite looks like colored ice. It can be purple, clear, blue, green, Galena. Galena is very, very heavy. Also very metallic, highly metallic, and it's got cubic, cubic cleavage. Garnet. Garnet looks like little footballs. It has good crystal form. It's usually wine color, could be green, um, and very, very hard. Gold. That's gold foil in alcohol and water. Anyways, it's buttery yellow. Um, graphite. Graphite is gray and greasy. Gypsum. Gypsum has one, direct, one good direction of cleavage. It's very, very soft. It can be in many, many, many different crystal forms and colors, and it won't scratch your fingernail. It's very soft. Uh, halite. Halite is cubic and clear. When it breaks, it breaks in nice cubes. That's salt. Table salt. Hematite. Hematite is a red streak. 
sometimes you'll see it like these, this is a broken ring, but um, I think they sometimes call that Alaska diamond. Anyways, the red streak of hematite is very important. Limonite. Limonite is rust. Iron oxide. Hematite's also iron oxide. So is magnetite. This is magnetite just here. Magnetite is magnetic. Malachite. Malachite is copper oxide. It's bright green. Muscovite. Muscovite is brown mica. It has a one direction of cleavage. It's kind of plasticky. Biotite is black mica. Also, one direction of cleavage and kind of plasticky. Molybdenite. Molybdenite is often associated with quartz. I don't know if you can see it in there. It's sort of a bluish metallic. Um, very, very, very soft. Bluish metallic and greasy. Similar to graphite except more bluish. Olivine. Olivine looks like green sugar. Pyrite. Pyrite is pale and brassy. Sometimes it has nice cubes. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not. Other times you might see striations on it. That's those parallel scratches on those crystal planes. Pyroxene. Pyroxene is dark green and has cubic cleavage. Well, not cubic. Uh, two, to, two cleavages at 90 degrees. Similar and associated with uh, amphibole. However, the cleavage is different. And oftentimes, pyroxene is dark green. Pyrotite. Pyrotite is brown brassy. Another one of our brassies. Brown brassy. Uh, quartz. All four of these uh, samples here are quartz. Quartz comes in many different colors. It is glass. That's what glass is made out of. Anyways, it's, uh, I don't know if you can see that or not. It has hexagonal cleavage. If you have nice, sorry, it doesn't have cleavage at all. It has hexagonal crystal form. If you have nice crystals, there's no cleavage. It has um, conchoidal fracture instead. Sphalerite. Sphalerite is very sparkly. Sphalerite is sparkly. The reason why is that it has six directions of cleavage. It also has a yellowish-brown streak. Oftentimes the mineral itself is black. And the last one, talc. Talc is soapstone. It feels like soap. It's very, very, very soft. Number one on Mohs hardness scale. Okay, well, that's our tour through the minerals that are associated with Geology 12 in British Columbia, Canada, and possibly elsewhere. A little quick mineral identification key. Okay.